I'm so tired of it. The hypocrites, you know the ones saying it, but they ain't really living it. The first to talk, last to do. You know them pointing fingers at everybody else but them. The same ones who need to take a look in the mirror. Maybe then you can see things a little clearer. Hazy visions, overcast perceptions, lies and deceptions, lukewarm infections. Man, hush up and listen. Stop with the sinning, get on your knees and start repenting. <laughs> the judgment's coming. Ain't no escaping that. Like he left something, God is coming back. So you better get ready. And excuse me if this gets too deep in my body, if this gets too heavy, but I can't sit back. I refuse to be lost. The wages of sin is death and I can't afford that cost. So I caution you to do otherwise. Rebel against the world and live for Christ. Because only what you do for him will last anyways. Not the clothes, not the cars, not even the money you make. I dedicate this to all those who backslide. Who want to be of the world but still bang Christ like he a gang sign. So all the ones So all the ones who want to live a life of sin, contradicting this word but still claiming to be righteous, uh-uh, come again, man. Die to that sin, man. Because neither you or I know when it's going to end, man. The clock is running, tick-tock, no Kesha. I just hope your soul is right when that comes for you and gets you. Because this life is not a guarantee. Just look at Trayvon Martin. Dude was only 17. He didn't deserve it. And yeah, I don't know when it's perfect. But just make sure on whatever decisions you make, that they're worth it. Because when it's over, it's done, man. It's finished. So even if you won't, I'm going to stay about my father's business. 